Welcome back. It's always a fun day when you get to have on a fellow co-worker and very yeah. good friend, Tanya Cronin, joining us on the show. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am really well, but I'm very excited today because Tanya has some very happy news to share with us. We it thought just... we'd just tell everybody on TV. Yes, it just <laughs> makes us so happy. Tanya is having a baby. Yes, and so we true. are so excited for you. Thank you. We've been sort of waiting for this for a while now because Tanya and Jeremy, Jeremy from 98.3 CIFM, there's the happy oh, couple. There's a good shot. You guys got <laughs> married, what, about two or three years ago now? Yeah, two years and a half years September. ago. Yep. So everybody, of course, goes on the baby watch after oh that. Oh my gosh, right? it was like five days later. So when are you going to have a baby? We're like, okay, really? Yeah, the Can pressure. we just be married first? I know. Anyways, we're super excited for you. Tanya Thank is you. 18 weeks along? Just about 19. Yep. Just about 19. Yep. Oh, there's the baby. And how convenient that she had her ultrasound on Tuesday. Yes, we planned it out so we could show the pictures. Don't speed through these. Let's take a look at these pictures. That uh, one, it looks like the baby is doing like a pouty look with its lips, doesn't it? Yes, and uh, I always love the way the stomach area looks super it's bloated. So like, I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know either. We can move over to the next one now. I just want to enjoy this. Anyways, I love seeing the pictures. You can see an arm there. Yep, nice that's an arm. Head. And he was so excited for you guys. Thank you. Um, and the baby has 10 fingers and 10 and toes. And 10 toes and two arms and two legs and everything's healthy. Everything's good. That's why I wanted to wait until we did the yeah. segment um, to make sure. Because, of course, you don't get that reassurance until around this time. So, yes. yeah, everything's you... good. Everything is healthy. Baby is doing what it's doing. And it's a mover and a shaker and That's a right. flipper and a puncher. And that's what you saw in the ultrasound. It was like yes. kickboxing. Because I, I didn't know what to, you don't know what to feel for. I was asking right. you, I'm like, what does yes. it feel like when the baby's kicking yes. and moving? And, you know, you, you said flutter or whatever. And I'm, I'm like, I don't know. And then the last few days, remember, I was saying, I think I might have felt something, but mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. Well, after yesterday, I'm convinced that that is definitely <laughs> it. Because it never around. stops moving and yeah. punching. And even the ultrasound tech was like, Okay, we really got to reel this baby in because it's just active. So that yeah. concerns me a little in some ways because Jeremy was a very active child. Right. Very active. Yeah, I'm you doomed. Can be busy. I think I'm doomed. You need your mom to come up from Vancouver <laughs> yes. and stay for a year. Just a year. It'll be yeah. fine. Oh my gosh, I'll I be know. running running around. Are you going to find out gender? No. Good we had you. the opportunity yesterday to find out, mm -hmm. and we decided not to. Yes, and the ultrasound tech so, didn't even look. She's like, I won't look, then she I didn't. can't make a mistake. She said, do you want to know? And I said, no. And then she said, okay, I won't even look. Right. Because then she was worried she'd, you know, accidentally say he or she or whatever. Sure. So, Smart. no, we're going to wait. But there's part of me that's like, what is it already? And I'm like, mm -hmm. how am I going to go through these next few months not knowing what it is? But it's fun. It's fun to have a surprise. I absolutely. We're gonna, we should do an office pool. We will do an office pool. Wait, yeah. gender, day. day. Uh, due date is? August 24th. Right. So we're going to see. And you know what? They usually say that uh, first babies are late. But yes. you never know. It's going to be a long, hot summer, my dear. Long, hot summer. I know. I know. It's all good. Although, like I told you before, I've been really cold. I'm always cold anyways. But I'm, like, really cold. So I think by the time I get to the summer, my <laughs> hope is I'm just like a normal person and I have a normal body temperature. Tanya is constantly <laughs> fighting in the newsroom with Bill and Earl, yes. who like to keep it at sort of a low meat locker cold temperature. Yeah, it's freezing and in there. we're trying to raise up the mercury a yeah. little bit, but you're always the coldest for yeah. sure. But mark my words now, because I, yeah, it'll probably turn around. I know. We'll see. Chad, we're hoping to get a close-up of Tanya. Well, not a close-up, but I, I'm, gonna, I'm oh. wanting you to stand. I don't want to put Tanya on the spot, but I am going to a little. Just whatever. Tanya <laughs> is a slim build. By the time I was 19 months pregnant, you could tell from miles away, because I showed faster, and some people do. But we're going to get Tanya to stand up just quickly. Oh. You can see here that we're now waiting well, for the baby. I'm wearing a loose shirt, but... but... clearly, if you just go off to the side a little bit... Oh, yeah, okay. So clearly, it's not really apparent... Yet, but it's no, it's soon. not. It's not. Nobody believes me. Nobody believes me. Everyone's like, but now that we have the ultrasound have pictures, the pictures, yeah, we can show people. I know. I'm like, I promise you, I am. Yeah. But my mom didn't show till she was about five months. So, so you're gonna be closer to five. Yeah, months I mean, then. you got. Like, I can notice a difference. Sure. Like, I, there is a little tiny bump there, but nobody else would notice that. You're almost halfway through. I know. It's gone by so fast. Oh, it has. Incredibly it fast. It has. Yeah. Uh, we have to talk a little bit about baby names. So yes. Tanya is uh, looking for boy names. She's yeah. got girl names to figure out, but she's not sharing yeah. them, which I think is, again, smart. Yeah. I, but... don't, I don't know. I don't want to share. I, just because people, I find people have reactions, which is fine. Everyone has their own opinion. Mm. 
but it's like once a baby's born and you name it, people don't really care about the name. That's right. They're like, oh, whatever, it's cute. You know. How excited is Jeremy? I haven't really so asked him. So excited. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he was really excited about that ultrasound yesterday yeah. too. We all hear Jeremy on the air and does a great job. Afternoon drive two to six, mm -hmm. uh, but. What some people might not know is that Jeremy is a crazy baby guy. He loves babies. Yeah, he's a family right? man for sure, which yeah. is fantastic. He would have had kids, like, I was the one that was like, no, was we're waiting. Holdout. You wanted to wait a little yes, longer, do yes. some traveling, yep, have some and we time. did. Yep. I like it. Yeah. I, I think that's great. Yeah, so he's so, excited. I think so too. I, I know he's very excited. We I, have a couple of boys' names that we like, but nothing set in stone. So we're taking suggestions. Okay. Just to, out of, if anyone wants to email them <laughs> Tweet in. Tweet us. <laughs> Tweet us some good names. Please, some boy names. I'm going to give you the top 10 boys' names out there right okay. now, which means you can't name them any of these names. Okay. That's what I always think. You want to stay that's away from that problem, top 10 list, right? Because there's a few that I do like uh, that are probably mm -hmm. on that list that I don't want to do because then when the kid goes to kindergarten, there's going to be Six, Six of them. Of them. Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, top ten. Number one, Jackson. Yeah, okay. I know a girl actually that named her son Jackson, yeah. so there you go. Uh, Aiden. Aiden, he's Liam, cute. Liam, yep. Lucas, Noah, Mason, Jaden, Ethan, Jacob, and Jack. And yes, there are many of those. There's I know tons many of, of those. And they're, but they're great names. They're great names. But yeah, like, do you really want to choose the top ten of you I know, know to name Nicholas? not that you have to be totally different like naming your child apple but mm -hmm. <laughs> like what's the other one Altro. moses is her moses. son's name yeah, yeah we talked about that yesterday but yeah, yeah. stay away from apple I fruits will. and vegetables generally i'd no. say no to carrot <laughs> 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 okay, we'll do the top five girls' names because I have a couple stats I wanted to share as well. Okay. Top five girls' names, Sophia, Emma, Olivia, Isabella, and Maya or Mia. Really? Yeah. My sister's name is Emma. I'm looking which for wasn't a popular. Like, one no, of those none of those you chose. None of those. No. Although there's some on the boys' name boys list that I have said, oh, I like that name, and then we've gone, oh, it's too popular, mm -hmm, so we're not mm -hmm. going to use that. So no, I'm not. There's none on there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might share secretly secretly with you one day, but no, not on the air. I want to be surprised not along. Not on the air. Okay, we've got some stats that I found were interesting that I thought would apply to you that I wanted to share. Okay. Um, the month with the highest number of births, August. No way. Yes. Really? And you're due August 24th. Yeah. yeah. That means everybody's feeling the love in November, December, right? That's because it's so gloomy out and right? everyone's like, just stays indoors. There's so what else, else is do. there to do? Get naked, right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I treading a we dangerous line We just gave everybody here? a mental picture. I know. Just erase I'm sorry. that from your brain. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I okay, <laughs> another stat. The day of the week with the highest number of births. The day of the week. The day of the week. Can I guess this? Sure. I'm just curious. I just want to see. Um, would it be a gonna say Sunday? No. No. Oh, so it's Tuesday. Tuesday. No. I know. So Tuesdays are just, I always say we should skip by Tuesdays and go right to Wednesday. I know. Chad wants us to wrap, but I got, I'm going to take 30 Chad, minutes. Chad, I'm on <laughs> for like the next half an hour. You know what, let's so just sorry. stay for the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> It's five times more likely now that women will give birth to triplets or higher multiples okay. compared to 1972. I saw yesterday there's only one baby, one heartbeat. We're Thank good. Goodness. Gosh. Oh. Although I guess you could get it out of the way all at once if it was, you know, not, two. Not for but four. I don't think no. I could carry two. I think I'd just, I just would explode. <laughs> okay, and then the percentage of first-time mothers delivering by C-section yeah. for the first time, first-time mothers, 31%, so almost a third. Wow. I think you may have a C. Yes, you've just been saying that. Just because you're a slim build, right? Mm -hmm. And do, your mom had Cs? My mom had two C-sections. So, sections. you know, yeah. you never know. You may not. Right? I know. Who knows? There's a pro, like, you don't really want it because it's surgery. Yes. But then if... You know, I can't, if they're telling me that it's just not going to happen the other way, then what do you do, You're right? going to do it for the baby, whatever you have to do, yeah. right? We're so excited for you, Tanya. Thank you. Yeah. The only downside is that we're going to miss you around here. Yes, I will I'll be off yes, for you that will. year. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll be busy, though. <laughs> yeah, you will be as busy now as you ever were, if not more, yeah. right? So that's what you find. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be sort of on mat leave starting in August, and you're going to take the mm -hmm. year, and mm -hmm. then we'll see you back here in August of next. Yeah. Yay. Now everyone knows. Now everyone knows. It's on midday. Jeremy's got to start talking about it on 98.3. He will now, right? now that we've put it out there. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. That was awesome. fun. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you grow. Yes, you will. Yay. Yeah, everybody awesome. will. Yeah. Okay. And we're taking suggestions. Remember, boys' names. Yes, tweet us at CFJC <laughs> underscore midday and let us know. Uh, we are so over, so I'm going to throw to a break. Thank okay. you for All being right. here. All right. Weather's next. Stay with us.